Welcome to this related demo. What we'll be covering in this demo is how to generate a related document, which will be uploading a PDF, presentation, or video, and then we'll be enriching it, which is going to be adding navigation, interactivity, and animations, and so forth. We'll be covering organize, launch, and analyze in further demos, and you can also reach this by going to Academy and going to the walkthroughs here for further detail. So what I'd like to do first, what I'm going to go to, is our home page here, our profile page. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert our PDF. We're going to upload a document, so we're going to generate a related to experience. The way I'm going to do this is by selecting convert your PDF here. I'm then going to drag and drop my PDF into this finder, and we're going to upload this. So what we're going to go over first is how to create a minimal viable document. And what a minimal viable document is, is a document that can be created within under a minute's time. And then you can go ahead and publish this document. After this, we're going to enrich it. And that's when we're starting to go into a more immersive related to experience. So the first thing you can see here is the related to wisdom. Just a few things it's kind of already found out. We've got any pages, we've got an immersive links created, thumbnails and more importantly unlisted privacy setting so that's default for every related experience you upload goes to unlisted which basically means no one else can see this document apart from you and others that you share the link with so it's not going to show up in the search engine so moving on to the next step by selecting next we have the views so this is a really powerful one so there's different use cases for this of course so a presentation would be better in slide uh, Flipbook is going to be better for a booklet, PDF that you created, but we can still convey these in all one place at all one time. So at the moment all we have selected is slide view. We can select Flipbook as an option and forward scroll, which is going to be your microsite view. So let's press next now. So our final option, and we can just see our title. So this is our related PDF demo, and let's just do 2022. For example, we can change the title. And then if you're by yourself, you can go ahead and review these areas, but I'm going to go over these with you here, okay? But if you want to, you know, by yourself, you can click these, and it will help you navigate through. So now, within a matter of seconds here, we've created a related document, a minimal viable document. I'm now going to press share. This one and save my document. And then I can save this externally. Now we have our document here. It's now saved. You can share this immediately by going to the top right hand corner. I can copy the link. I can share it socially within these different avenues. I can embed it and I can do a personalized link as well. As you can see, I can now scroll through the presentation like so. I have an automatically generated table of contents I can click through, go to my document. And what we talked earlier about the different views, I can click on the three dots here, I can do forward scroll. You can see each time I click into these different areas, so I can now forward scroll, more of a website feel. When I share them, it's going to be sharing within that view. So that's how we create a minimal viable document. And now we're going to look how we can enrich this experience. Now let's enrich our PDF. So we've generated our minimal viable document. What I'd like to now is enrich the PDF. So to do this, I'm going to press edit and we can go into the first area that I'd like to show. So the order of best practice is to make the first page as engaging as possible. So first impressions are very important no matter where you are. So you want to make it interesting, engaging, and you want the viewer to read on. So as we come to this first page, as being described here, just go through what we're going to do is add a background video. So a background video is a one clip step and it's kind of a small amount of input for a big output to how it works. So how we can do this is using our toolbar here, you can see moving around the page, depending on where you're editing. I'm going to scroll across, background video. Again, I'm going to drag and drop an MP4 format video into this page, this finder. Let this upload. And what's happening here is this video is being put to the background layer of your PDF. So for here it's the black screen and now what we're going to see happen is it's going to take over that layer and it's going to be replaced with a video. So as you can see here, 
we now have our video playing repeatedly behind. It's taken up the background area. It's now showing this. There's a few things we can do to this and it's even more powerful. So we can go to the right hand side bar here in our settings and we can actually change the color and add a filter over the top of this. So we can change this to blue, we can go around here, but you can basically choose any RGBA color and you can change the opacity. So for example, by taking this to blue here, I can change this to 80 if I wish it to be stronger. Or if I want to be weaker, I can obviously turn that down. Now it's important to know there's a reason we have this. So why we have this is not every presentation is going to have related to a mind when designing it. So you may have a lot of text, you may have text which is close to your background colour of your video and you don't want to pay extra expenses to change that video. So by using these filters, we can basically make the text a lot more readable by adding these filters to the video. You still get that great video that you have behind there, but we're also enhancing the readability of this text here. And this will continue play in kind of a hypnotic way and just make the person want to stay and watch this video. Next way we can enrich our related experience is to animate it. There's two ways we can animate and relate it. There's single click, auto animating, and there's custom animations when you want to animate specific areas of a page. The first one we're going to go over now is auto animations. Where you can auto animate, auto animate a page is by either going to the toolbar here, and we can go to page auto animate and we can select this we can see all the views or we can simply look here on the right hand side so we can control the auto animation on three ways so we can animate everything we can animate purely the text so all the text will come in we can have the visuals and then finally we can animate purely the background image now I recommend when you're designing for a lady, you, you design in these three layers. So the one click animations will work very well uh, for your document that you upload. So another way we can control our animations, let's bring it back to all, is we can go to the direction. So I can have this from left to right. I can have it from top left to bottom right, for example, depending how you want to guide the reader's experience to animate in. The second way we can animate a related document is with custom animations. So as you saw with auto animations, although it's really powerful, it will animate all the text, all the visuals, all the background, or all of everything on the page. Sometimes specifically, we just want to animate certain areas to draw attention or show a journey of building in a certain way. So what I'm going to show you now is how we build with our custom animations a step build animation we call one, two, three, four, five is what I'm going to be animating. So the way I can do this, I can use my toolbar again, add interactivity, and I'm going to press the rectangle and shapes. In the simplest form, what we're going to be doing is covering these areas and animating these interactive boxes to fade out. Okay, so we're having these appear one by one. So a few things we need to do to achieve this. So you saw I brought the box in, you can take it from the edges and adjust over. I now need to change the background, completely white, and I can change the transparency here. I like to be 100. So now we've blanked out this area, it cannot be seen. I now need to select it and add effect. Okay, there's a few effects here. What we need to focus on is effect load on scroll. So when I go onto this page, this animation will occur. So you can see here, something happened as soon as I click that, it faded in. But what I'd like to happen is for it to fade out. Now, best practice areas I'd say here is we want this to happen once when it comes onto the page. I give the duration one to give it a smooth effect. And this is the thing we're going to be changing now as we go through. But what's great and related to you is you can copy and paste interactive elements and it will take across all this work that you've put in already. So all I need to do now to achieve these others is I'll press Control C, Control V. I'll copy and paste it all this animation. And what I can do is then simply select. And now I can do one. Just change the delay simply. And I can just really easily and quickly do this for these three here. As an example. So let's do two. And let's check our effects. So we can reload the effects. One, two, three. 
and it's now faded in. So this is great when you want to highlight key figures, you want to tell a journey with your page, and you want to draw attention to certain key reading points on the page. The next area we can add within Relay2 is widgets or media. So we can add these different types of areas through links and also through files. So for example, we can add a Relay2 experience as a widget. So if I take this link here, for, a direct, for example, I go to page, add interactivity, and I can press relay to here. I can then extract this as a widget. And this can then be put onto the page like so. It's a live embed. We can then scroll through the experience. Or what we can do is we can add this to open on click. So we can add the interactivity here over the top for example i can add an action open widget paste the url in the same way i can see on the right hand side here i can preview this link and now this opens in the same tab i can view and go through the same experience i can be straight back into the document where i am originally next area is we can add video so this could be youtube vimeo can also embed so all we need is the actual link to add this live to the page again you can add through interactivity youtube paste the url in extract this we can have it hosted live on the page like so with a few different options so we have this auto play as soon as we're in and we have it on loop for example to keep playing we can adjust this the same way as we would with any other interactive element around the page and place it there like so and we can use the same principles as well that we use